So my dad's from Israel. Friend found this out. Asked me if I have dual citizenship. No, I'm American, born and raised here. This guy, I swear to God, said this to me. He's like, you know what? You should really get an Israeli passport. That way, if things go to hell in America, you'll have a safe haven. <laughs> so Israel will be my safe haven. Should work out great, because it's right near my vacation home in Darfur. So that's very convenient, guys. Very convenient. I can't talk, though, because I, I say the wrong thing all the time, too. I say it all, like, I live in a black neighborhood in Brooklyn. Uh, I mean, it's like Cosby Show black, not The Wire black, so it's you know, not that special. But I was talking with one of my neighbors, and he asked me what kind of toothpaste I use. And the toothpaste I use is Tom's of Maine. What I meant to say was Tom's of Maine. But for some reason, what came out of my mouth instead Uncle Tom's. Uh, there's no way to backpedal from saying you use Uncle Tom's toothpaste. Can't be like, oh yeah, haven't you noticed my teeth have been acting white lately? Really works, really works. I say the wrong thing in relationships too. I was dating a girl, I said this to her, I said, you are the prettiest girl in America. I don't know why I added in America. I thought being specific might help. She didn't, think th she didn't think so. She's like, most people that were gonna give that compliment would have said prettiest girl in the world. <laughs> now at that point, I should have called him off. I should have said, oh, thanks for letting me know. Instead I said, oh, so my ridiculous lie wasn't a gross enough exaggeration for you? <laughs> so as she was moving out of our apartment, um, <laughs> She came across the shoebox filled with like nice notes and cards that I had given her early on in the relationship. And she left like four or five of them out on the living room table and said to me, I just thought you might want to see how nice you were back when you liked me. I know, I know. And ladies, you gotta understand, that is not completely fair. Because as guys, we can't collect all the things that we liked early on in a relationship. <laughs> I can't be like, oh, honey, look what I found. It's a shoebox and it's filled with you not crying for no reason. <laughs> See how nice you were back when you liked me? You guys have been wonderful. I'm Matt Ruby. Have a good night, all right?